Josh. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just have a headache. Did you take any medicine? Yeah, but I did absolutely nothing. I think that would actually be something wrong with me. Ah, uh, you're just being dramatic. I'm sure it's just a stress thing or something. You have that report to do, right? Yeah, it's absolutely horrible and I hate it, but I don't know what to do with it! Well, just work on it every day. I'm sure it'll be its best in a month. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, dude! The teacher's car just got scraped up in the school parking lot. How? <laughs> I don't know. But I gotta go see the reaction. Always hate uh. Mr. Flynn. Did you say something? I said I wanted to see a reaction. No, I mean after that. I didn't I didn't say anything after that. I've always, I've always hated, hated Mr. Flynn. Flynn. <laughs> I've always hated Mr. Flynn too. I never said it was Mr. Flynn. Uh, a lucky guess. doing on my account? Well, I needed a paper to give to Mr. Fletcher. How'd you even log into my account? I heard it. I never said it out loud. Well, I never said it was out loud. I kind of need that. Did you really think I was just gonna let you walk away with my work? Well, of course not. But if you don't give me that, I'll tell everyone your secret. What secret? He can't, he can't possibly, possibly know that, that I damaged Mr. Mr. Flynn's car. You know, Mr. Flynn has been asking questions about his car. He would be very happy to know who did it. Thank you. What, what will I give to Mr. Fletcher? Well, I will get started on a new report. You only have 10 minutes. Josh, we need to talk. Josh, what are you not telling me? What do you, what do you mean? John thinks I told you about Mr. Flynn's car because I was the only person he told about it. I never repeated it. So how did you know he did it? Well, I... You haven't been acting like yourself lately. You seem to know exactly what people were thinking and you use that to your advantage. It's almost as if... You know about Mr. Flynn's car before I even told you about it. What, what if you could get his right, right now? now? You could hear that, couldn't you? Jim, I. No! You've been mind reading people! Then you blackmail them! Watch yourself, Jim. Why would you do this? I can't imagine anyone being this low, especially you. B. Quiet. What are you? An alien? A mutant? What kind of freak are you? Shut up! 
What are you? A demon from hell? That's certainly where you're going. Stop it! Stop it now! Yeah, you abused the power. Are you happy with yourself? What are you? My conscience? I might be, but are you happy with yourself? No, I'm not. I hurt people, especially you. I'm sorry. Oh, Josh. Do you really think you can learn a lesson and walk away? What? You were a cheating, lying, murderous fiend. You were a sadistic, violent, horrible excuse for a person. You're the last person that should be miraculous as gay power. So you really think that I'm sorry to excuse your crimes? What, what do you want me to do? You know what you need to do. Jim, is this really your voice? I don't know. Maybe, Maybe you're just crazy. crazy. Listen, Listen to your thoughts. thoughts. It makes it sense, sense that you're the ones that aren't real. Maybe, Maybe your own thoughts aren't really yours. But then again, you'll never know. Never know. Really. Forgive me? That depends. Do you forgive yourself? Do you forgive yourself? 